Written in the 14th century, Nicole Oresms on the Ethics of Money delves into the moral dimensions of wealth, offering enduring insights. As a medieval philosopher, Oresm pragmatically explores the ethical considerations related to money. Amidst the medieval socioeconomic backdrop, his work reflects a thoughtful examination of wealth's ethical implications. Despite the temporal gap, Oresm's insights remain relevant, resonating with contemporary discussions on financial ethics. His pragmatic approach, grounded in medieval realities, provides a historical foundation for understanding the ongoing ethical challenges associated with wealth, making on the ethics of money a valuable resource for both its time and hours. Dear Valued Supporter, We appreciate your ongoing support for our channel. For those seeking additional ways to contribute, we offer subscriptions on Patreon and Boosty, providing exclusive perks as a token of gratitude. Join our community and let's enhance this journey together. If you prefer an alternative, PayPal donations are also warmly welcomed. Your generosity helps maintain and improve our content. Whether through Patreon, Boosty, or PayPal, your support is crucial in sustaining our channel. Thank you for considering these options. Links will be indicated in the description of the video. The Nature of Money In examining money, Oresm clarifies it as a tool measuring value and aiding exchanges. Money, to him, isn't an end but a means for transactions. This underpins his ethical study, framing money's purpose within the practical dynamics of trade. Oresm's emphasis on money as a facilitator aligns with a straightforward view of its function, steering away from complexity and directing attention to its practical role in everyday transactions. This simplicity lays the groundwork for a pragmatic exploration of money's ethical dimensions, inviting readers to consider its use in a straightforward context of value measurement and exchange facilitation. Just acquisition of wealth. Oresm underscores the importance of acquiring wealth fairly, emphasizing that possessing money isn't criticized. Instead, he warns against an excessive desire for limitless wealth. While acknowledging the need for wealth, he cautions against unrestrained greed, advocating for a balanced perspective on material prosperity. Oresm's stance encourages individuals to pursue financial well-being responsibly suggesting that acquiring wealth is acceptable as long as it aligns with ethical principles. This measured approach emphasizes the ethical considerations surrounding wealth, steering individuals away from unrestrained accumulation and urging them to strike a balance in their pursuit of financial resources, usury and interest rates. Oresm critiques the practice of usury, expressing disapproval particularly for high interest rates. He explicitly states that charging interest on loans shouldn't serve as a path to excessive gain. His disapproval extends to the exploitation of financial tools for unjust enrichment, underscoring the need for fair and reasonable lending practices. Oresm's stance against usury reflects a concern for ethical financial dealings, urging a more equitable approach to loans. By condemning excessive interest as a means of profit, he encourages a financial system that prioritizes fairness and discourages the exploitation of borrowers through exorbitant lending terms. Duties of Wealthy Individuals Oresm emphasizes the obligations of the wealthy, stating unequivocally that wealth should serve the common good. He underscores the moral duty of affluent individuals to actively contribute to the welfare of society. His focus lies on the ethical utilization of financial resources, stressing that wealth isn't an end in itself but a means to benefit the broader community. Oresm's perspective urges the affluent to recognize their role in societal well-being, emphasizing a responsibility that extends beyond personal gain. By advocating for the ethical deployment of wealth, he encourages a more conscientious and socially impactful approach to financial resources. Pitfalls of Hoarding Wealth Oresm issues a caution against amassing wealth without purpose, asserting that hoarding money, without putting it to good use, harms both the individual and society. This warning reflects his concern for the detrimental impact of stagnant resources. By urging against the mere accumulation of wealth, Oresm advocates for a more active and socially beneficial deployment of financial means. He implies that unused wealth doesn't just lack personal utility but can lead to broader societal drawbacks. Oresm's perspective encourages individuals to view wealth not as an inert possession but as a tool that, when actively employed for the common good, fosters personal well-being and contributes positively to the wider community. This emphasis on purposeful wealth utilization aligns with a vision of economic resources as dynamic forces capable of creating positive social impact, charity and almsgiving. 
or resin places significant emphasis on charity, asserting that giving to the poor is an act of justice, not merely a charitable gesture. This statement positions charity as a fundamental obligation deeply rooted in principles of fairness and equity. Oresm challenges the notion that charity is a discretionary benevolence, instead framing it as a matter of justice that addresses societal imbalances. His perspective implies that aiding the less fortunate isn't just a kind act but a necessary response to uphold justice. By rejecting a superficial understanding of charity, Oresm compels individuals to recognize their responsibility in rectifying social inequities through active and purposeful assistance to those in need. This framing underscores charity's role as an essential mechanism for establishing a more just and equitable social order, aligning with Oresm's broader ethical exploration of wealth and its impact on society. Wealth and Virtue Oresm tightly links wealth and virtue, emphasizing that the virtuous use of wealth contributes positively to both individual well-being and societal harmony. His assertion implies that the ethical deployment of financial resources isn't just a personal virtue but a catalyst for positive societal transformation. By championing the idea that wealth can be a force for good when wielded virtuously, Oresm encourages individuals to view their economic means not only as personal assets but as tools for creating a more harmonious social order. This perspective underscores the potential of virtuous financial practices to extend beyond individual benefits, influencing the broader fabric of society for the better. Fair Wages and Labor Oresm delves into economic fairness by asserting that workers deserve fair wages for their labor. His stance reflects a commitment to justice and compensation, opposing exploitative practices that compromise the dignity and well-being of laborers. Oresm's emphasis on fair wages aligns with a fundamental concern for the equitable treatment of those contributing to economic activities. By denouncing exploitative practices, he underscores the importance of recognizing the inherent value of labor and ensuring that compensation reflects this value. This perspective goes beyond a mere economic argument, emphasizing the ethical imperative to uphold the dignity of individuals engaged in labor. Oresm's advocacy for fair wages reflects a broader ethos of justice within economic systems, urging a recalibration of compensation structures to better align with principles of equity and respect for the labor force, government's role in economic justice. Oresm delves into the role of government, asserting that rulers have a duty to ensure economic justice in society. He posits that governing authorities are responsible for creating and maintaining a just economic framework that safeguards the interests of all citizens. This perspective highlights the role of government as a custodian of economic fairness, emphasizing the need for policies and structures that promote equitable distribution of resources. Oresm's view implies that a just society relies on effective governance to navigate and rectify economic imbalances, emphasizing the importance of proactive measures to ensure the well-being of all members within the community. Ethics in Trade Oresm shifts focus to commerce, asserting that fairness in trade is the cornerstone of economic morality. His observation places ethical significance on business transactions, emphasizing the need for honesty. Oresm critiques dishonest business practices, stressing the pivotal role of integrity in commercial dealings. His stance resonates with modern calls for ethical business conduct, aligning with contemporary values that prioritize fairness and transparency in trade. By highlighting the ethical dimension of commerce, Oresm encourages a framework where integrity guides transactions, fostering trust and contributing to a more ethical and sustainable economic landscape. Social harmony through economic ethics. Oresm paints a vision of societal well-being, asserting that economic ethics can foster social harmony. He contends that when wealth is acquired and used justly, it not only contributes to the common good but also strengthens the social fabric. Oresm's vision underscores the interconnectedness of ethical economic practices with the overall welfare of the community. This perspective implies that the responsible acquisition and use of wealth can serve as a unifying force, creating a more cohesive and mutually supportive societal structure. By emphasizing the positive impact of ethical economic behavior, Oresm encourages individuals to consider the broader implications of their financial decisions on the collective harmony of the community. Nicole Oresm's On the Ethics of Money is a timeless exploration of the moral dimensions of wealth. His emphasis on just acquisition, responsible wealth management, and the ethical deployment of financial resources resonates across centuries. 
Oresm's insights continue to offer valuable guidance for navigating the ethical complexities of money in contemporary society, urging individuals and communities to prioritize justice, virtue, and the common good in their economic pursuits.